Uh, I'm excited about Christmas. Anybody excited about Christmas? Yeah. Yeah, not, not because of like the gifts that are around the tree or some of the craziness. I mean, if we're honest, Christmas is probably one of the most chaotic times of year, uh, isn't it? It seems like you go into November and it looks like we kind of fool ourselves. Oh, the month of December is not going to be packed at all. It's going to be sort of an easy month. And then before you know it, it's like something every single day in December, right? It's like work parties and uh, family gatherings and we got to make Christmas cookies and we got to go to the mountain to get a tree or we got to go to Hobby Lobby to get a fake tree because Jesus's money goes there or whatever it is, right? Like, you know, it's like Hobby Lobby and Chick-fil-A, right? That's where everything goes. But but then in, in, in in the middle of all the hustle and the bustle, like you find yourself getting so amped and so stressed and so crazy that by the uh, middle of December, you almost feel like, um, man, I've, I've kind of forgotten the whole reason uh, that we're supposed to be celebrating. I'm so caught up in who's left on the list to get for and, and do I have teacher gifts or, or do it uh, when's the performance at school that they're going to sing a song that nobody wants to hear or like when when do we go and do you know what I'm saying like you go through all these things and then you get to the end of Christmas day and you're like we made it you know but what what would it look like if if it was a little something different this year what, what if we really reveled in the reason for this season and we took a minute to just sort of pause every day and, and remember what it's all about. Um, we're we're going to do that on Sundays, and my hope is that you'll do that throughout the week as we look at these songs in the night. We also have uh, a little Advent devotional that's going to be coming out next week. Uh, we're going to go through the Psalms of Ascent. And we just wrapped up the Daniel series, right? He's been in Babylon. The Psalms of Ascent were sung by worshipers leaving the captivity of Babylon and going up to Jerusalem. Uh, and then they were also sung through the major feasts of the year for Passover and for Pentecost and the Feast of Booths. So his worshipers would come from all over the world to these three major feasts. Uh, as they were going up to Jerusalem, they would sing these songs as they prepared their hearts for worship. And so we're going to take a psalm of ascent each day for 15 days right before Christmas. And you'll have a little devotional book that you can prepare your heart as you're heading towards worshiping the king. Uh, you can sing some of the same songs that the ancient ones did. Uh, so be looking for that. But, but let's be ready. Let's get our hearts ready for Christmas. Let's